Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this super chunky knit hat for adult men and women. It's super easy to make and I'm sure you're going to love it. So let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these eight millimeter circular knitting needles. Now I'm going to make this hat in the round using the magic loop technique. Now, to begin, I have this number six yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's called Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick. This is a number six yarn in this color Red Beacon. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cast on our stitches. So to do this, I'm going to put both of my needles like this together. Now, I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to determine how much yarn we need to leave for our long tail. So what I like to do is I like to wrap my yarn like this around 20 times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're going to remove our yarn from our needles. Now, here we have enough yarn for 20 stitches. If we double it up, that's enough yarn for 40 stitches. If we double it up again, it's enough yarn for 60 stitches. I need to cast on a total of 56 stitches, so I'm going to leave it like this. So I'm just going to make a slip knot right here, like this. And now this is our long tail. This yarn here is coming from the skein. So here, we're going to insert our needles through this loop like this, both of them. And now we're going to cast on our stitches. So insert your finger like this, open the yarn, and we're going to go from left to right and grab a loop. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. I'm going to continue like this until I have 56 stitches. I will meet you back once we have this part here done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I mentioned I was going to do 56 stitches, but no, I'm going to do 50 instead because with 56 is a bit too big. So I decided to cast on 50 stitches. So make sure that you do 50 and not 56. So now here, what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull one of the needles carefully so that I don't lose any of the stitches. And here you can use the 16 inch circular needles, but since I'm going to use the magic loop technique here, I have to divide my stitches in half. So I'm going to do this and right about here, half on one side and half on the other. We don't have to be precise. We can have more or less here on each side. Just push your cables like this. And now this yarn here has to always be in front of the back needle like this, always, always. Now we're going to pull this needle from the back and to join in the round, we're just going to knit the first stitch. like this. Now the next stitch I'm going to purl. Next stitch, knit and then purl. Knit, purl. I'm going to do this to the end here.
Okay, I'm here at the end. I have this last stitch I knit, my last stitch I'm going to purl. Now drop this needle, turn your work like this, push your cable, and pull the needle from the back. My yarn is in front of the cable, so here I'm just going to start on this side with the opposite of what I did here. So here I did a purl, so my next stitch here is a knit. For you, it may be different depending how you divided your stitches, so it doesn't matter as long as you continue with the same sequence. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Continue like this to the end right here, and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. My last stitch here has to be a purl stitch because we started with a knit stitch. So drop this needle, turn your work, push your cable. Make sure that your working yarn is always in front of the back needle. Now pull this yarn here so that this stitch here closes. So pull your needle from the back and then repeat the same thing. We're going to knit the first stitch, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. Now this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. This is um, going to be the brim of our hat, so I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do for the brim, but continue watching and I will let you know exactly how many rows. So you're just going to repeat the exact same thing. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one for every row. Always, always your last stitch is going to be a purl at the end of the row and always, always the first stitch is always going to be a knit stitch. I recommend that you put a stitch marker or this yarn here that we left can guide you that this is going to be always the beginning of each row. Now here I'm going to show you how to transition again from one needle to the other. My last stitch here is a purl. Drop this needle, turn your work, push your needle. Your working yarn is always in front of the needle from in the back. Pull your needle from the back and then start the stitches here on this side. Knit, purl, knit, purl. Okay, so continue like this. Repeat this same row and continue watching so that you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I have done a total of eight rows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can make this part here wider. I'm just going to leave it like this. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this hat nice and basic. I'm going to continue by just knitting each one of the stitches and create the stockinette stitch. Uh, that is where you just knit each one of the stitches beginning with the first one and the second one, which is a purl, you just knit through in the same way. I'm going to do this for the rest of the hat. I'm just going to knit each one of these stitches like this until I come to the last one here. And then I'm going to show you how to knit the other side like this. Um, I'm just going to keep this hat basic, like I said, nice and easy. You can also do maybe knit two, purl two, or continue with the same knit one, purl one for the rest of the hat. You can do that. Okay, so this is the last stitch. I'm just going to knit, drop that needle, turn, push your cable, make a loop here and then pull the needle from the back and then continue in the same way. And then once you finish these stitches here on this needle, you continue in the same way where you just knit every stitch for every row from here on. Now, I recommend that you put a stitch marker here at the beginning of this first row, just to mark the beginning. That way you know where each row begins. And that way I can tell you exactly how many rows I'm going to do from here on. Okay, so continue like this, just knit 
every stitch for every row and then um, don't forget to put a stitch marker I'm actually right here I have one already so don't forget to put your stitch marker at the beginning of the row so continue like this I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on at some point we're going to stop because we need to start to reduce the top of the hat but continue watching I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do so I'll meet you at the end of that row Okay, I did a total of 25 rows from here to here, not counting the brim. It's measuring about, let's see, it's it's about nine inches from here to here, but once I fold my brim, which is what I plan to do, this is how I'm going to wear my hat like this, it's measuring, fold it like this. From here to here, it's measuring about 6.25 inches. Now, if you want your hat like this without uh, folding it then what you need to do is only do about 12 rows from here up to about here you're going to do 12 rows and this part here is going to measure about five and a half inches and then you're going to do the reduction rows just like I'm going to show you here okay so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to reduce here the top of the hat and if you notice I have placed some stitch markers I have a total of 50 stitches so I place my stitch markers every tenth stitch I have 10 here 10 here then I have a stitch marker, then 10, 10. I have five stitch markers, one, two, three, four. And then here I'm going to add one, which is this here, okay? So what we're going to do here to reduce is we're going to work these eight stitches, two, four, six, eight, and then we're going to knit two together before the stitch marker. So let me show you. So this would be the beginning of the first row. Now I'm going to knit eight, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then knit two together like this. Okay, pass your stitch marker and then again repeat the same thing. Knit eight, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knit two together. Pass your stitch marker and then again repeat. Knit eight and then knit two together. Okay, so continue like this all around and I will meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this first row of reduction. Okay, I'm here at the end. These are my last two stitches. So here I am going to knit two together. Don't forget to knit two together also at the end. Now, if you count each one of these stitches, you're going to have 45 stitches now. We're going to reduce five stitches for every row from here on. I'm going to put back my stitch marker here and I'm going to now repeat the same thing for the second row. Pull my needle from the back and here I'm going to now knit seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then knit two together and that's all i'm going to do from here on you're going to continue in the same way uh, until we have maybe only a couple maybe one or two stitches here left between each stitch marker so continue all around and i'll meet you back once we only have a couple stitches here left between each stitch marker to show you what we need to do next Okay, I have 10 stitches all around and I have two stitches in between each stitch marker. So here, what I'm going to do for this last row is we're going to knit two together all around. So beginning here, you're going to knit two together, remove your stitch marker, knit two together, remove your stitch marker, knit two together, Drop that needle, turn, remove that stitch marker, push your cable, and then pull the needle from the back and then do this side, knit two together. Remove that stitch marker, 
and then knit two together here at the end. And now I have five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, perfect. Now I'm going to remove my stitch marker here and we're going to close our hat. Now I'm going to cut um, my yarn. This is all I had left here. So I'm just going to cut a small tail here. And then here I have my needle. So just pass your yarn through the needle here. Here is my last stitch. So I'm going to push my cable here and we're going to go around. So pass your needle here through this first stitch into the next, into the next. Okay, make sure you hold on to this stitch here. Don't let it close because we're going to make a knot here. Now pull this needle like this and then do these last two stitches. Now this is my last stitch here or my first stitch here. Right there. Now insert it through there and then pull and that should close this hole here. You may need to adjust it a little Perfect. Perfect. And that closes it there. And that creates a knot there. So all you have to do is just weave it around um, a couple times to hide this yarn. Now this stitch here is reversible in my opinion. I think it is. I like the way that it looks on the wrong side. Here is the finished hat. That's what it looks like from the top right there. I'm going to remove this stitch marker. I love the way that this fits on me. I love the double brim here. I love it. It's very nice. Now this is what it looks like from the inside. I think that it's a reversible stitch. That's what it looks like here. Now if you fold your brim like this, that's what it looks like. I like it. I think I can wear it like this too, but this is the right side here. That's the top. Now you can also wear it like this, where it's a nice slouchy hat, nice and long. But remember, if you don't want to fold your hat here, only do about 12 rows, which is about up to here, and then do the reduction in the same way that I showed you. So it should give you a nice thick beanie hat. Okay, so my hat is done. So this was today's tutorial. I used exactly 140 grams, which was one skein of this yarn here. Um, this is how much I had left, so perfect. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.